ask you another question, which uh, you know, if you allow. So, what is the source of all this esoteric knowledge that you're sharing with us uh, today? Because uh, you know, most people they ask for, especially you know, people of today's world who are mostly very skeptical that uh, how do you know and how can you claim that all these things are true and what is the proof that these things exist? So then, uh, what do you have to say to satisfy the questions uh, of such? People have asked me this question and are you so hard this important when I studied I said I don't want to believe God, you know, what is the source of it? Well this is a source which is you know I, I won't say anything uh, other than what is this. These things in India people know about the Akakshic record. Mm. Everything that we do, we say, we feel, we act, karma is Record, being recorded on the Akakshic records for but a lot of people read that you know, they are able to read that at individual level but it also the what I'm talking about is at the planetary level at the cosmic level these are Akakshic records about all these things the ascended masters here comes the knowledge of ascended masters ascended masters have dictated that by reading those Akakshic records and they are dictated that through their messengers, who are, both of them are not living. I'm talking about Summit Lighthouse organization that I'm, I'm part of 45 years. Mm -hmm. Through their messengers who are at that time, through them they dictated, they read that. And even the messengers were gifted mm -hmm. to read that Akakshic record. So that is the source of the, all this information. So do you envision a time somewhere in the future when the human consciousness has become so sublime that uh, a time will come that we would be able to directly interact with these beings, these elementals, these angels and ascended masters and uh, work towards a better humanity uh, because I'm sure there was a time when they, was, uh, you know, they were not as invisible to us as they are right now and the knowledge was not as obscure as just not right now. I'm sure they, they were like very direct and smooth interaction happening between all these uh, elements including us and the earth was flourishing in every department. So you envision a time that sooner or later humanity will reach that level where this uh, can happen? Wow, very good question. And that was the reason of being all this information, this knowledge mm -hmm. being revealed through this organization and there were previous organizations by the way. I'm not mm -hmm. saying this is the only organization. There were been the last hundred years. Mm -hmm. There have been many, many organizations before that. There was Theosophical Society that was in also in mm -hmm. Adyar in Madras, you know, mm -hmm. formerly known as Madras. Mm -hmm. And there was also Bridge to Freedom and I Am Movement. And there have been many, many organizations that Ascended Masters have sponsored. And they have the Summit Lighthouse mm -hmm. is presently there, there you know, that mm -hmm. I'm, I've learned all these things from them. Why? Why are they? Because the earth is at the verge, at the threshold of a golden age, Satyug. And in the previous Satyug, elementals and angels and human beings, they worked together. Mm -hmm. Their people were able to see Master face to face, mm -hmm. God and man. We know the, in, in, our, in our Vedas, in our books like that, you know, it's written that, mm -hmm. that, you know, you know Babaji and then Sanjay Master, uh, you know, Mahavatar Babaji, he talks about that, Autobiography of a Yogi, you know, he, he talks about that, you know. So these things have happened. So the, all the saints who have come so far, they have written their books, Ramakrishna is another one. Yeah. You know, they have, they foresaw these things coming. Yeah. So Sanjay Master, the dream or vision yeah. is that, yes, that day is not at far, at far, far in the future. When, when all these things, elementals will work mm -hmm. and the environment, environment can be once again crystal, mm -hmm. crystalline, you know, beautiful and shining and, and no pollution and, you know, and all the good things. And one thing can I share with also with, the, with, with, the, with your yes, audience? Yes, I have been told that in the previous golden ages, the color of the earth, the soil was white. It's not like this, you know. So I said, well, what happened? You know, why this color of the soil? Because of the karma, the negativity, the energy, it changed. I also was told that the rose, rose, I think you mentioned earlier, the roses did not have any thorns in them. They were all beautiful roses because of the duality of the human consciousness, anger, resentment, love and hate, and all the things 
the, the, the elementals mimic that and they brought those things because that's what they do. Elementals mimic whatever they see that and they brought the pawns into the flowers and we see the, the weeds, we see the germs, we see all the kind of things that were not meant to be there. So the vision is that when the golden age will come by God's grace of course, mm-hmm. our free will also, mm-hmm. mankind's free will, mm-hmm. all will vanish. Mm-hmm. Golden age will come and God and man will talk face to face. That's my prayer, that's my dream, that's the vision of the Sunday Masters also, you know. Okay, uh, that was very, very fascinating and I'm sure to all the audiences uh, watching this show today, uh, this, all of this was very, very eye-opening for all of you. Um, I don't think uh, that you have ever heard about such things, but if they do exist, I think it's very exhilarating, it's very exciting to know of a world which is magical, which is fascinating, which is uh, so thrilling because we all know that our lives have become very mundane. We feel that uh, going about our uh, everyday life, earning our daily bread and looking after our children and then securing say a, a good bank balance and then eventually passing away is our fate. But who could have thought that God or the Divine had really uh, imagined a very, very magnificent world for all of us, which was magical, which was thrilling, which where we could uh, see or, you know, kind of look forward to the most uh, exciting things every day, the world unraveling in it before us and it's in the most uh, exciting manner. And if we want this to happen, if we want magic to be a part of our everyday lives, if we want to rise above the mundane and actually claim our uh, divine uh, inheritance, uh, we must uh, really uh, try to make us our consciousness more sublime and see what we can do to help Mother Earth, to help humanity, to. Uh, uh, bring in the new era as quickly as possible. Thank you so much. I'd like to add, thank you Shivaji. I'd like to share with uh, your viewers, first of all I want to thank you and the Life uh, Passing Foundation for having me and, on, on, your, on, your sh- on your channel, on your show. You have a website that you may want to uh, jot down and you want to visit our website. It's called www.chananda, C-H-A-N-A-N-D-A dot org dot org www.chananda dot org also we have a workshops that we do on zoom workshop free of charge every sunday all of you are welcome so please do uh, visit our 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 website we have information about how you can join our 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 zoom workshops and uh, also my phone number is over there i can, can i share my phone number yeah, with please, please share your phone number with our audience they would love to be a part of your workshops and learn so much about such fascinating hidden knowledge uh, from you thank you my phone number is a, it's a, it's a whatsapp number but you can call me uh, anytime in america or here double nine seven double one two three four eight three again Double nine seven, double one two three four eight three. I look forward to greeting you, talking to you, welcoming you, sharing you what little I know because there's so much more to learn for me from just talking with you, listening to you. Thank you again, Shivaji, for having me on the show. Thank you, Jaspalji, for coming to our show tonight. It was a pleasure talking to you. And it was actually also very exciting because whatever we heard from your mouth was completely new for me as well as for my audience. Thank you.